Hi everyone there. This is Shahid. So I am here to speak about a business ethics that is faced by a company. So the company I am here to talk about is Starbucks. So one year after becoming CEO of Starbucks, Kevin Johnson faced a leadership test when two black men were arrested in a Philadelphia Starbucks. The men were waiting to meet a business associate, but they didn't purchase anything while they were waiting. The store manager asked them to leave and they refused, explaining that they were there to meet someone. The manager called the police because the men refused to leave and the police arrested them. Another patron at Starbucks recorded the arrest on her cell phone and it quickly went viral. In an interview, after the arrest, the woman who took the video mentions that she had been sitting there for a while and she was in asked to leave even though she didn't order anything. Additionally, the video shows the business associate of the black man show up during the arrest and he asked the manager and the police what the men had done wrong. The general public and those who witnessed the arrest labeled it as a discriminatory and racist. This happened on a Thursday and the following Monday, Johnson, the CEO of Starbucks, said that the manager no longer worked at the store. The arrest led to the protest and sit-ins at the Philadelphia Starbucks the days following the event. In, in this apology statement and follow-up, video released shortly after the arrest, Johnson said that the video shot by customers is very hard to watch and the actions in it are not representative of our Starbucks mission and values. Creating an environment that is both safe and welcoming for everyone is paramount for every store. Regretfully, our practices and training led to a bad outcome. The basis for the call to Philadelphia Police Department was wrong. So this was the, this was the statement said by Johnson, the CEO of Starbucks. Before the incident, Starbucks had no company-wide policy about asking customers to leave. And the decision was left to the discretion of each store manager. Because of this flexible policy, Starbucks had become a community hub, a place where anyone could sit without being required to spend money. Johnson mentioned this community in his apology when he said Starbucks works to create an environment that is both safe and welcoming for everyone. Also in this apology, Johnson outlined the investigation he and the company would undertake. The apology detailed actionable steps Starbucks leadership would follow to learn from this situation, including meeting with community stakeholders to learn what they could have done better. Johnson took full responsibility for the actions of his employees and he acknowledged that Starbucks customers were hurt by the arrest. Johnson also acknowledged that the employees needed more training, including about when to call authorities and that the company needed to conduct a thorough analysis of the practices that lead to this incident. After issuing his apology, Johnson went to Philadelphia and met with the two men face to face to involve them in the dialogue on what Starbucks needed to do. So he went to the to he went to meet the persons and the problem was solved really well. So this was the case study of Starbucks and they managed the business ethics to be followed in their company. So that's all about the video. Thank you so much for your time. Thank you.